Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and this is my full review of the new Atlas Wearable. So the Atlas wearable has been probably the most asked about wearable that I've had here on the Techie Agent channel. A lot of people are weightlifters, crossfitters, they do some sort of other exercise that doesn't kind of fall into the conventional jogging or cardio exercise and they want to know if this is going to track their exercise. So we'll answer that question here in a moment but the first thing I want to talk about is the overall build quality and aesthetics. Okay, so this is an awkwardly designed wearable, uh, unlike anything else that I've ever seen. It actually comes with a band with a magnet inside along with this main brain or the main unit that slides into the band and magnetically attaches to the band. So it's both a brilliant design and kind of awkward. It sits on the wrist a little bit awkward. It's not again like any other fitness tracker that's kind of sleek. This large kind of bulky pod does sit on top of your wrist. Now the straps or band are actually made out of a quality plastic or synthetic material. They do have these ridges on the other side of the band that kind of help it stay in place, stay firm against your wrist while you're working out. Now that's going to be important because this has an optical heart rate monitor built in and that optical heart rate monitor can't be moving around on your wrist. It has to stay in place if it's going to get an accurate reading. I do like that they went with the standard watch strap design. A lot of companies are trying to innovate and reinvent the wheel and come up with all of these crazy designs that don't work. This design works. It's been tested and tried for a long time and I really like it and I'm glad that Atlas just went with something that's simple and something that works. Let's talk about this little pod that slides into the watch strap itself. The pod looks like it has a well-designed optical heart rate monitor. It sits on the wrist kind of a different direction than typical heart rate monitors. And I think, as we're going to see in our testing here, that that actually contributes to it being a little bit more accurate. And that might be why they have kind of the awkward design. Uh, but the overall build quality of this is a little bit lacking. The plastics on it feel kind of cheap. The screen, it feels like it's made out of a cheap plastic. Uh, the button on the side feels like it's made out of a cheap plastic. And then additionally, while they did use a standard USB, micro USB for charging, which is commendable and I really like, when I went to insert the USB uh, charger cord into the USB socket, uh, it just felt kind of loose, not like a quality click or anything like that. And I'm a little bit worried that if I insert it the wrong way or something, I might break something inside of here. So I'm not a total fan of this little pod. Uh, it seems a little bit cheap, a little bit plasticky, like it could crack or break. Now, I haven't had any issues, to be honest. I haven't had any issues with the screen scratching or cracking or breaking or anything like that. But it just doesn't feel like it's a quality, well-designed unit. Uh, now, that, with that being said, I also don't love the screen. The refresh rate is so poor that on any camera I'm shooting with, there's a massive flicker on the screen, and that's just because of the refresh rate on the screen is so slow that it creates this weird flicker on camera. Now, that flicker is only visible on camera. That's not something you actually see with your eyes, but uh, that just means the refresh rate is slow, so the screen is just obviously not of top-notch quality. It's a fairly responsive screen but it's definitely pixelated. The, the screen display leaves something to be desired. So uh, if I could have any improvements that were made on this cosmetically, physically, it would be on this little unit right here. I'd love to see kind of better quality plastics use, a better screen use, maybe some better touch screen technology used as well. Uh, but for the time being, here's the thing. It works. It does everything that you need it to do. So while it's a simple design, at the end of the day it works and that's the most important thing for any fitness tracker. You can have a fitness tracker that looks great but if it doesn't work, then you're gonna have some problems. This unit with this unit here, they, they work, just works. And so uh, I don't really have any complaints to that end. Now let's actually talk about, did it actually work in the gym? So in a word, yes, it absolutely works. Now, there is a learning curve using this device more so than a lot of other fitness trackers that I've used in the past. So you'll wanna make sure to click the link in the description below that will take you to the Atlas uh, video that shows you how to use this in a gym. It's about a six or seven minute long video and it will show you how to use this specific to certain kinds of exercises and then how to enter in the weight that you've used with each uh, exercise and how to make any uh, sort of rep adjustments or corrections if it happens to accidentally skip one repetition. 
So you'll notice here I crank out 15 repetitions as a warm-up on the bench press. It was accurately able to track all 15 of those repetitions. And then you can go in on the watch and you can enter in the weight that you used for that particular set. Again, for detailed instructions on how to use the device, you'll definitely want to refer to the Atlas video as soon as you're done watching this video. So the Atlas wearable does three things really well. Uh, the first thing that it does really well is it does the automatic exercise tracking just as promised. So that's obviously their biggest claim to fame, and they definitely deliver on that. The second thing that they deliver on is making it easy to adjust the amount of weight that you used on a particular exercise right on the wrist. There's a lot of other fitness trackers out there where you have to then go manually input the amount of weight that you used via an app. Well, you don't have to use an app with the Atlas wearable. All you have to have is the wearable itself and you can input the weight that you used on a particular set right on the wrist. So that's also a really nice feature. And then the third thing that they do really well is heart rate tracking. So it does have an optical heart rate tracking built in on the device we've already talked about that but most optical heart rate monitors don't do a very good job during weightlifting high intensity interval training CrossFit exercises things of that nature this seemed to do a pretty good job now it didn't do a chest strap heart rate monitor good of a job but it did do a good job overall so I did use my polar Bluetooth chest strap in conjunction with my Strava app while I was working out to kind of get an idea of my max heart rate uh, and my average heart rate and it was very comparable to what the Atlas wearable pulled in as well so I got a 165 beats per minute max on Strava compared to the 159 beats max on the Atlas and I averaged about 115 116 beats per minute overall on Strava versus about 107 beats per minute overall on the Atlas wearable so all in all it was very very close and as good as a optical heart rate uh, monitor is going to get in comparison to a chest strap now there are definitely some limitations about the Atlas wearable that you need to be aware of first and foremost this is not an all-day fitness tracker this will not track your all-day steps your all-day calories or sleep it's not designed to be worn really in any other context other than the gym an additional limitation is that there are currently only 60 exercises that the Atlas wearable will track and you can only program the Atlas to track 15 of those in the gym automatically at any given time if you were to program all 60 it would get confused it would confuse certain exercises with others and so in order to limit the confusion of the device you can only program it to track 15 automatic exercises at a time even though you technically can track a total of 60 now Atlas has said that they will change that number from 60 to hopefully 200 by the end of 2016 and I'm also hoping that they'll be able to adjust the number of exercises that it will track in any given moment from maybe 15 to say 30 but that's a current limitation that the device has that you should definitely be aware of so that you're not disappointed when you purchase it so kind of my final assessment on the product is that it has its limitations right now and I see a lot of potential I feel like right now if you're demanding too much from this product you're probably going to be disappointed but if you go in with the mindset that you're just looking to track a couple of exercises while you're working out that you, you want to focus in on a couple of different exercises or alternatively that you want to use the built-in workouts that they have that is going to provide you the best bang for your buck or meet your expectations I guess I should say uh, but if you're going in expecting it to track every exercise that you're doing in the gym right now it's it's not going to meet that expectation at least not yet so uh, as of right now Atlas only has about 60 different workouts that it auto or different exercises that it automatically tracks but by the end of 2016 they hope to have as many as 200 so again there's that potential that's built in right now 60 actually isn't a lot there was a lot of different workouts or exercises that I couldn't do because it just simply couldn't track those specific exercises but I'm hoping as this product matures and develops over the course of this next year and once we get up to 200 maybe 300 different kinds of exercises that it can track that then I'll be able to go into the gym and it'll give a more comprehensive approach a wider approach to uh, my workout rather than just being specific to certain exercises so as long as you're comfortable paying you know a hefty sum $250 uh, to track very specific exercises at this point your expectations will definitely be met uh, or if you're looking to do a wad or a high intensity interval training or some sort of other guided exercise program this also provides that and will provide you with the specific exercises that you can do and it's definitely a good product for that so that's kind of my assessment of it at this point it's a good product 
with lots of potential. If you expect too much from it, you're probably going to be disappointed. But if you recognize the potential is there and, uh, and grow with the product, I think you'll be happy with it. It's the best product, in my opinion, for those of us who are uh, in CrossFit, weightlifting, uh, strength training, or any sort of kind of non-conventional, non-cardio kind of exercise. This is the best product on the market easily. I mean, it, I've, I've tried the Gym Watch. I've seen the, the what is the other one, the Beast. I've seen uh, the uh, Push Band. I've tried all of those. Uh, this one just completely blows away all of those. This is the best product on the market right now to track weightlifting exercises. So especially automatically track weightlifting exercises. So check it out. There's a link in the description below that will take you to Amazon.com if you want to check out more details and other customer reviews on this. Uh, hey guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure you like uh, this video. Leave your comments below. My name is Eric. I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.